topic is gray encoding and decoding. Uh, this topic is crucial for asynchronous FIFO. Uh, before going to asynchronous FIFO, I want you to watch this video because it gives an insight why it's used and where it's used. So why a gray code? We have already a binary code. So why a gray code? But uh, before going to gray code, why gray code? I'm going to say a brief history of gray code. Gray code was invented by Frank Gray in 1953 uh, as it was patented. So main characteristics of this gray code is that this encoding scheme is that only one bit changes in successive uh, uh, encoded values. What means by that? Only one bit is changed. As you can see, this is a binary and this is a gray code 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 7. And you can see 0, 1, 2. What's the difference? There's only one bit change. Only one bit is changed between 1 and 2. Only one bit is changed between 2 and 3. Between 3 and 4, only one bit is changed. As you can see, the bits change only one. So what's the use where it's used it's used in synchronization it will be very crucial in synchronization i'm gonna take this topic synchronization in next video um, but right now i'm gonna cover about binary to gray converters and gray to by converters so coming to binary to gray converter how it's happening so as you can take this example one zero zero four and four binary and gray so MSB bit and with no change it's written and second bit is XOR of MSB bit and second bit of binary and LSB bit is XOR of uh, 0, 0, second bit and first bit of binary. So you can calculate gray by using this one if you want binary XOR binary right shift by 1. So I'm going to show you an example. So this is a phi binary, this is a phi gray. So what I'm gonna do is shift this phi by one. Right shift, so zero, one, zero. And XOR bitwise XOR, not uh, total XOR, it's a bitwise XOR. And logical, it's not logical XOR, it's bitwise XOR, understand? So one, zero, it's one, zero, one, it's one, one, zero, one. So this is a binary to gray convert. And now coming to gray to binary. So we have a gray code over here and this is a binary code over here. So come in, how can we convert a gray code to binary code? Similarly, we are going to use XOR gates. MSB bit is as it is. And this third bit, this MSB bit is going to be XOR with the gray code second bit and produce the binary second bit. Binary second bit XOR with the first bit is going to produce binary LSB bit. So this is how a binary binary gonna work with a gray. So I'm gonna explain this one. So binary bit reduction operator with a gray core and the shift amount of i the bit. So I'm gonna give example how this works. So if you want to find a bit two of uh, binary from gray, shift right shift by two and reduction operator XOR it. So how it gonna work? I'm gonna explain how what's the reduction operator. It's mostly using uh, hardware description languages. And so it's uh, if you want to go with the second bit, I'm gonna say that one one zero shifted by two means two zeros are, are added on the left hand side zero zero one, and we have XOR it bitwise zero XOR zero it's zero zero XOR one it's one. That's what we got one. And we are gonna write 0, 0, 1. So it's 0, 1, and 2. So we are getting what we so we choose 1, 1, 0, and the answer is 0, 0, 1. This is how the gray, binary to gray conversion happens. So if you have any doubts, please comment down below. And this topic is very important because you will know its importance while synchronization. Uh, why a binary is not useful, why gray is useful in synchronization. I'm going to take a separate video for synchronization. Please watch the video so that you can understand asynchronous FIFO better. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have liked the video, like it. Or if you disliked it, please dislike it and comment down below. Thanks for watching.